legacy off of me just being honest And the fake ones hate but it's all no avail They wanna see me lose but you know I never fail words there but not much I can do strange anyway guys let's get on the bike and get spinning Spin. We like to have a good time. This is actually my second spin today. But might as well do something. I'm just sitting here.
I've been kind of under the weather all week, and uh, my workouts have kind of suffered. I'm not going so heavy. I'm still getting stuff done, but I'm just going super light, super simple, nothing crazy. Uh, you know, when you don't have the energy, you don't have the energy. There's nothing you can do. So. It's a lot nicer than what I had going before. You can go compare. You can go back to the playlist and look under cycling, or I think it should be under the cycling or spinning or whatever. And uh, you can look at some of the other videos that I got and uh, see what I was using. And uh, yeah. So this seems to be doing pretty good. I like it because you can take it easy and just kind of mosey along. And that's pretty much what I do. I'm not on here getting crazy and I wasn't on my bicycle getting all crazy. So just trying to keep things simple and all that good stuff. And, uh, so these are pretty interesting. I got toilet paper because like I said, I am still fighting my cold or whatever it is I got. It's not the uh, dreaded bum 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 disease. That's pretty much something that I'll get every year, every couple of years. Nothing too major. It just wears you down a little bit. Uh, anyway, this, these are pretty cool. The, uh, the resistance in these comes from the fan itself. When the, however hard you spin is how much resistance that it gives you. The blades, the blades on the fans are actually curved, and so it's cupping the air. So the harder that you push, the more air, you know, strength it takes to couple that air and move it. I don't know what I'm doing. Really come. <laughs> Yeah, you can, uh, do that, you stand up on it, and they do got the bigger versions of these two, with the big fan in the front, it's the big industrial size, but these are good for small gyms, small areas like I've got. And if you're watching, you can also comment and let me know how the audio is doing, what the music playing. I wanted to turn it up where I could hear it. It has some music going. But then it makes it so loud, you know, that that's all you're hearing. So, I got it playing, but I've got it turned way down to where it's, you know. It is what it is. Oh, the body beat down the butt. Wait, that's me. What's up? So I've kind of had a rough uh, three or four weeks or so. I had a slight strain in my groin from doing some deadlifts. Uh, the end, it was like the end of December or January 1st. Or, anyway, it was like right at that point, kind of a slight strain, not enough to stop working out. But I didn't press my luck for a, a couple of uh, for a couple of days or so and kind of kept things kind of easy. And then my back went out even more than it already is for a couple of weeks. And then that gets over, and then I get sick. So, I kind of had to wah, wah, wah. Kind of been fighting my way. But it's all good. 
We're gonna make it through. I think we'll make it through pretty good. I've just been kind of down. You know how your whole body's sore. You get sick. Even though that's just a slight cold or anything, your body just kind of gets sore. Well, the bad part is, whenever I get sore like that, all mine goes right into the nerves into my lower back where I get my problems. It goes into my neck, into my eyes where I got issues. And it just it gets really bad and kind of keeps you drained. And kind of, you know, beat down a little bit. Beat down. The body beat down. So if nobody even chimes in, I'll be interested to know how this sounds. And, uh, I think it's going to be quite a bit, quite a bit quieter than what I had before. The only reason I'm doing this second spin today is because I just had a salad late at night. And it wasn't it wasn't a bad salad, but my wife made it, mixed it up in a bowl, and she puts bacon bits, the croutons, and put too much cheese in it, and that makes it not healthy. So not as healthy. It ain't gonna kill me, but I'm gonna work off a few of the extra calories so I don't feel so guilty. I got the pleasure of eating the salad, that's what she said, and now I get the pleasure of kind of burning off some of the, the waste product from it, you know. It's Friday night. Of course, I'm here alone. My wife works nights generally. So, Friday night. This was a, a short week. We were off Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I did a little video for that a couple days ago, too. Go ahead and check that out. But, uh, it was a short week, but it was a rough week. Sometimes dealing with those kids on the school bus. We do not get paid enough, guys. Not even close. It's embarrassing what we get paid. But it's easy on my back. And that's one of the main reasons I'm there. Well, I'm really happy with this purchase. The guy I bought this from actually delivered it to me. Of course, I made a video if you want to go check it out. Uh, he offered me something for free as well. It was a Total Gym XLS or Total Gym something. And uh, you can go check the video out. Now, I might not use that all that often or anything, but it's kind of cool and it was nice of him to offer it for free. I mean, you can't be free. If I don't ever use it, if I just throw it away, at least I have a couple of handles that it come with. And I can actually use those on my cable machine in my gym. So, you know, even if I don't get any real use out of that, I can use those handles. I try to do anytime that I do work out 
you know, any any of my phases that I've been through during my life that I work out. I try to always work out if I don't feel good, if I'm not deathly sick. My theory is it just helps to burn off a lot of the toxins and keeps you moving and going and gets your heart rate up and kind of helps out. Now, that's if you're not deathly sick. You don't want to be out doing stuff if you're, you know, bad off and you got fever and you know, sick and want to throw up and all that kind of stuff. That's different. This is like a cold or, you know, something like that. It's not too awful serious. So I've continued to work out all week, even though I am sick. But the weights have went way down. Like I'm not trying to lift heavy or nothing. I'm just going through the motion, moving a little bit of weight, getting in some sets and some reps, and uh, just trying to keep going. And I've walked every day except one day because it rained the entire day. Plus I was sick and I wasn't going to go out there and try to walk with an umbrella or and I have a treadmill, but it's a used treadmill that I got off Marketplace, and it was free, and it don't really work so well. So I didn't use that. So I actually missed walking one day, which I never do. I, I never miss. So, but kind of wasn't my fault. Now, I do have plans in 2022 to get a couple of things uh, for my gym. And uh, one of them is to find a good used treadmill. And uh, I have a Smith machine, but I really want to get a Smith machine that also offers uh, a free free uh, rack, free weight rack along with it. It's typically, you know, uh, you got the Smith machine and then you got standard rack, you know, also with it. So you can use complete free weights or you can use the Smith machine. I would like to get something like that and sell the Smith machine that I've got. Because I want the best of both worlds to be able to do Smith machine and to be able to do a complete free weight. So I'd like to get a couple things like that for the gym with the treadmill and a, a new Smith. And of course I still need some dumbbells. I still need 60s, 70s, and 90s uh, to get all the way to 100. But I'll need 55, 65, 75, 85, 95 to do in steps of, you know, fives. But in reality, I'd be happy to be able to just get 10 pound increments and uh, be done. Still need to get some, uh, still need to get a squat, uh, a dumbbell rack. Four on my dumbbells, they're all on the floor right now. I still need to get a dumbbell rack. Five seconds left, guys. 
See how toads, we take it pretty easy here. I'm not one of them crazy people that get on there and go crazy spinning. Not that anything's wrong with that, it's just kind of for me. I don't want to completely wear myself out. Plus, again, this is my second spin of the day. And going this speed has already given me a smoother, better resistance than my bike and the uh, trainer that I had in here. So, you know, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I got a little sweat going on. much energy in that whoop whoop. People don't underestimate yourself on these days when you don't feel good because even putting forth just a little bit of effort really goes a long way. Because not only does it keep you on track with your regular schedule, it also keeps you positive and feeling like you're not, you know, missing out or doing bad or wrong or, you know, feeling guilty. It, it, it keeps you going and you can at least do, if you can at least do something, it really helps you out. And again, nobody expects you to do any kind of working out or anything if you're really definitely sick. Nobody expects that. Nobody, nobody does it better. Makes me feel sad or something and something. I don't know what it says. Thanks, guys. Sometimes it takes stupidity. You know, if all this would have been around, all the YouTube and all this, Facebook and social and all that, if it would have been around kind of earlier in my life, before kind of life, you know, hits you and changes you a little bit. If, it would have, if all this would have been around back when I was younger, I might would have been, I might would have been a lot better off. I might would have made it. Because I had a lot better, more crazy, fun personality. I was just more slapstick, crazy, just loony, you know. 
but the older you get, the more life kind of hits you a little bit, and you kind of lose a little bit of that. And you can tell whenever it's forced. Like, I can watch some other channels, and I can tell when they're being for real, and when they're kind of playing things up for the camera. And we all do that a little bit, to some extent. But, uh, you know, I try to keep things pretty real, pretty decent. I don't know how long I'll support this channel. I don't know how long I'll keep going. I know uh, my other channel, my main channel, Mikey Sun TV, M I K I E S O N T V, all one word. That's my main channel that I've had for like 20 years. And I really, I started really uploading and trying to be YouTube famous and kind of spread my brand, my D I T I, do it, do it, logo and all that stuff. And I tried to get myself out there for like five, six years on that channel. And it never went nowhere, and so I made this channel specifically for just fitness. Because that channel is for everything. And you're told, well, that's not good. That confuses people. Well, I guess people have never turned on the TV because the TV has everything in the world on it, not just one thing. So that's what Mikey said TV was about, everything. So I made this about we all cater to the fitness world, to the everyday guy. Not the big guys up here, the little guys down here that buy the cheap stuff and find good deals and try to do something on, you know, a more reasonable level. We don't know, we might not know all the lingo and the, all the jargon and all that kind of stuff, but we know kind of what we're doing. And uh, so I made this channel hopes that it would get me out there and get my brand going and get my brand popular and spread some positivity and all that. But, you know, it's going really, really slow. And I really told myself that I'll give myself only 2022 to really push this channel as far as I can and do as best I can with it. So I want to put another five, six years into another failing channel. You know, that's a lot of work. Even doing this live stream is a lot of work. I mean, I got programs running. I gotta have a bike here. I gotta do something. I can't just stand here and go, look at me, I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> look at me, I'm a pretty girl. You know, guys, we gotta do something. I'm not a pretty girl. I can't just stand there and get likes and shares and subscribers and comments and money sent to me and all that. So we gotta do something. So, like I said, I told myself I'd give me all of 2022. I don't know if I'll even give myself all of 22. I just don't know. It just depends on how I feel. Uh, it stresses me out because whenever I do something, I expect a certain level of, you know, whatever the word is I'm looking for. <laughs> success. I'm looking for a certain level of success. And if I don't get it, then, you know, all that does is bring me down. And bring me down. And bring me down. And it stresses you out. So I've noticed over the years that I've gotten more and more stressed trying to be successful and popular on this social media than I have really enjoyed it. So I just don't, I don't really know if it's worth my time. You know, is 2022 going to be the year? Am I going to break out and all of a sudden get a million subscribers and be the next big thing? Is everyone out there looking for a 50-year-old man with chronic back problems, depression, doing videos by himself all the time? You know, I don't know. Uh, probably not. Even though I think I do decent videos, you know, it 
is what it is. I don't feel like I failed. If I do give this channel up and stop either at the end of 22 or in between, I don't feel like I failed because failing is not trying. And I try. If you go back and look at Mikey Sense TV, I try. Like really hard. Really, really hard. <laughs> so, and I'm putting the same kind of effort into this as best I can. And if I and if I don't succeed, then I don't really feel like a failure. I just didn't succeed. I gave it my best. Or you can say I failed. I'm not a snowflake, so I don't really care if, it's, if you call it a fail. I think you only fail if you don't try and if you don't put forth some good effort. One minute left, guys. That was a fast 30 minutes. Pretty sure you got an excellent workout along with me. You probably went and checked out Mikey Sun TV. You're probably checking out the Body Beatdown. I even have another channel that's dedicated solely to video games that's not going anywhere. Old Mental Pickle. Old Mental is one word, pickle is the second word. It's not going anywhere either. But I didn't really have a lot of high hopes for that channel like I did for Mikey's and TV. And then my hopes went down a little further with the body beat down because I already seen how tough it was to make it with my other channel. So, 10 seconds, guys. Woo! All right. Good. All right. Good deal. Oh man. Well, I hope the I hope the machine wasn't too loud. I'll be able to tell if, uh, whenever I watch the playback and uh, see what see what I think. Whew. All right, guys. Well. I hope you enjoyed that good 30 minute little workout. Hey, if you want to, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beatdown. If you want, I don't support it anymore. I am just dumping videos there, but you can go check out Mikey Sun TV, M I K I E S O N TV, all one word. Check out the playlist in there because you're going to go and see some really interesting stuff. And you'll learn, you can go in there and, and some of the playlists and actually learn everything in the world about me. Uh, I'm a very interesting person. Possibly the most interesting person in the world. Possibly. Anyway, don't forget. What's up, Jared? How you doing? Hey, I hope you watch back some of this and see if that bike was too loud. That's my new bike that I got. That uh, new Schwinn Aerodyne fan bike. Assault bike, if you will. I just got done. I'm fixing to sign off, but I appreciate you giving me the old thumbs up. And uh, I've watched some of your videos probably today, I think. I think I'm caught up with you. Uh, I'll go check. Whew. Anyway, guys, have a good Friday, a good weekend. Be an inspiration not only to someone else but yourself. And don't forget, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. And we'll see you next time on The Body Beatdown with me, Michael, your semi-incredible host. See you later, Jared. Ah.